Good morning. Today is March the 3rd, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we're going to share something from Crazy Talk, and it's uh, one of those touchy subjects sometimes, uh, but I think it's one it's good to, uh, to talk about sometimes. And the term we're going to look at is inclusive language. Um, a kind of silly, sarcastic definition of that would be the arrangement of the grammatical furniture in such a way that no one sits comfortably because this is uh, a difficult subject for some folks and it's touchy as to how sometimes to get it uh, the best we can. But ever since Moses asked God, um, uh, who can I say is calling? And got conf some confusing wordplay in reply. Remember God saying, I am who I am. A whole pile of languages, images, and metaphors uh, have been put into the service of getting a comfy picture of God. Describing God by way of analogy to human beings has been popular, effective, and at times troublesome since day one. Inclusive language proponents note that most Christians throughout history have been running on the assumption that God bats for the boys team. That, that is, we tend to refer um, to God as a he. They want more linguistic options and point out that exclusive use of male metaphors for God seems to run counter to the biblical teaching that both male and female human beings were created in the image of God. Check out Genesis there. The point is this. God is neither male nor female. The inclusive language debate shows a tricky thing with all this crazy God talk. The ongoing human tendency to imagine a God created in our image rather than worshiping God. We tend to imagine God in terms of what we like best about ourselves. Everything from strong muscles to a sweet disposition and from vegetarianism to our, well, however, whatever specific, um, whatever specific characteristics we want to give our, ourselves that may apply to our gender. This goes for the folks on both sides of the inclusive language conversation, by the way. God is not an amalgam of the best ideas we can come up with, but a free and distinct being with, with a personality, a plan, and a passion to be in relationship with all of us. What is inclusive about God is God's love for the entire scope of creation and God's desire and intention to reach and redeem everything. When we describe God in terms or pronouns that drive some people away from God, we fail both God and each other. Another way to put this is you know, there, we don't need to just be limited in how we describe God. Uh, some people can't, can't pray without referring to God as Father or He 38,000 times. And... Some people uh, avoid the subject of using any gender-specific kind of terms for God that it's almost like they're trying to dance around it. But it's important, in, in my opinion, to be open. Um, there are as many ways to describe God, even though we can't fully describe God, as there are probably um, sands on the beach. There are times when we think of the characteristics of God that could be like a faithful mother. Or, uh, or a protective father. or And sometimes we also have to be careful where we are because of the relationships that people have had. But the th main thing is, is that we not limit how we describe God because we don't need to limit God. And sometimes we're going to do okay with it, and sometimes we're not. But God is God, which is the best thing for us all. And through that, we'll um, stumble through and, and do our best so that all people can know the story of God's love. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, you are our creator. You are our father. You are a mother to us. You are a friend to us. You are a healer, a peacemaker, and you are so many things that I can't well, there isn't enough time in the world for me to describe you, uh, and I would still fall short. Help us uh, to not limit you, uh, to realize that you are beyond all understanding, and let our language 
let our conversations be an example of that. That we see how you are amazing beyond measure. We thank you for so much uh, for, for helping us through another day, uh, for continuing to help this pandemic seem to get better and better. And we continue to pray for healing uh, and for um, wise actions by individuals and communities. We pray for peace in this world, especially uh, in Ukraine and Russia and other places where it may not be countries at war, but it may be individuals and communities that are arguing with each other. Help us to treat each other with respect and love so that peace may abound everywhere. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.